Alright. Hey YouTube, what's up? And for all those people who are learning how to use Adobe After Effects, uh, CS5 and CS4, I have CS5, but they work pretty much the same. I'm gonna show you how to do motion tracking, like in this video right here. How I have the video on the wall, the stand. Well, in your video itself, what you'll need is two good corner points in the video that does not get crossed over by anything like especially not the character and I'll show you how yeah really it's a tutorial of course I'm gonna show you how um so anyways what I got here is just you know the footage some other part of the I threw it on the ground plan and if you don't know it's an old video I did a long time ago uh -oh. texting so instead of going for Keith frame by keyframe moving it it'll do it for you so go ahead and drag your footage into a new composition I have it here and what you want to do is add a null object just to prepare so you can either right click anywhere in the timeline go to new null object or you can go to layer new null object and we can just rename it if you want to and call it tracking data and if you don't know what a null object is, a null object is like it, it does not render out. So when you like publish it to YouTube or whatever, it, you don't see it, but it contains information about your video. Um, I can't really get in that much detail of it because I can't find ways to describe it. But if you got it, you got it, right on. So we want to track this footage. So we're gonna go up to workspace. Hit it, and you're either on one of these uh, text, standard, paint, motion tracking, minimal effects, and all panels. Well, you want to move it up to motion tracking, and what you'll get is a tracker on the side over here. Or you can just go to window up here and look down till you see tracker. If you're on Mac, you know it's different with the toolbar up top, but you it's really simple if you don't get it I really can't help you because I'm not a Mac user but I'm pretty good with Macs so once we have a track footage up make sure we have the video we want to track is highlighted I'm going to tr hit track motion it's going to give us a little box and I'm going to name it fret Okay, so we move Fred into this corner piece or any color changing area where it can tell where it's moving. So I know this. I I did this one earlier. So I, I was thinking, and just make that pretty wide, not too wide, but pretty wide. This is the range, and this is where it's going to look for at each keyframe. And because this was because I already know that the character does not cross that door corner and also does not cross that so also because it's not it's not on a tripod it's gonna be rotating side to side so we're gonna check rotation and we're just gonna move the rotation to this corner right here and zoom in to get a better look at it and just make it a little bit wider so now we have our two points. All we have to do is just go to analyze on the side and hit the play forward button. And it'll go keyframe by keyframe. Kind of fast too. And just motion track each spot. Um, I'm not going to try to get as precise as I did the other one because the other one's still going to come out the best. But it's only a tutorial. So when it finishes, it'll just stop. And all these blue squares. Or tracking data so if you scroll through you see that those Fred and his friend pretty much stay there but what are we gonna do with this now we're gonna make it work on the tracking data no so we're gonna go to on this without hitting apply or anything we're gonna edit target and you're gonna hit this drop layer and you look for whatever you name the no either still null or if you change it to tracking data it's tracking data just let okay 
and we're just gonna hit apply X and Y yep and okay so everything's all spread out let's close it but as you see the null or the red box moved into this corner which is alright but if we play through or scroll through we see that it stays that means it's tracking to the footage itself so the null is you know carries information but what if you want something to be connected to that null so it sticks too so instead of a video I'll just put some text I'll be like d square 97 pretty explanatory capitalize a D because I think I should have done that when I made my username and just put it in a corner there that was good but if we play it it does not stick why not because we didn't tell it to stay and because what we just do is we just we're just gonna just 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 you know me quarter every time I say that I'm just playing but we're gonna parent it to the tracking data you can just hit the scroll down put it in the tracking data or you can do it the fun way and whip it to it whip so now it says parent to tracking data it says tracking how you doing tracking and once it says that it should stay where it's at so if I hit play it's still a little messy but it stays so it plays so that's the basics of track motion tracking in Adobe After Effects. Um, if you have any problems, feel free to ask. If I didn't cover anything that you think that might be helpful to anyone else, go ahead and tell me and I'll put it in an annotation or put it in the description somewhere.